our way into the kitchen. When it comes to entertaining, it's important to have something all of your guests will enjoy. So, Allie is making summer skewers for sweet and savory lovers. Allie, yes. welcome to the kitchen. This is going to be fantastic. I'm excited about this. We got Larissa, Paige, <laughs> I mean, enjoying Deb. But Deb's already having fun. They're she so hasn't cute. even taken a bite yet, and she's having a good time. Oh, right? Right? Yeah. And that's sort of the need concept to be behind this in a sense, yeah. isn't it? Enjoy. So, I mean, the reason I thought of it is that my daughter Molly and my son Riley, they both mm. love fruit, right? And they feel like when they get fruit, it's almost like an ice cream. I mean, look at Molly eat that watermelon. She can't believe how lucky it's she is to have that big earth. piece. Um, so I thought instead of giving like an ice cream or a popsicle during the summer, how fun would these like little bouquets be for her? And she loves them. I gave them to her the other day. Um, and then, of course, I had to think of the adults when they come over, a nice little savory skewer. Or if you prefer savory over sweet. So these are just fun. It's fantastic. The yeah. savory skewer even does have a little pop of sweetness too, yes. which I love. Okay, let's start with those. Okay. They look so good and so yummy, full of goodness. Yes, they um, are. Okay, so these are really, really easy and fun. So all it is is first, as you can see, I have this melon baller. All you do is you take your cantaloupe. Yep. to get your cantaloupe little balls. Okay. All it, they're so easy, and honestly, like these are a lot of fun to make. I could do this for hours. Um, if you have a little bit of an older kiddo, they could probably get involved. I think my daughter Molly, she's you know two, would be a little bit too young to do this, but kids would love to do this. It'd be like a little art project to get all your little balls. So all you need, melon baller. This. This is also great for like so many things in the kitchen, whether you're scooping ice cream, all different kinds of fruits. So you can see I used it over here for the watermelon that we're going to use later and the honeydew. So you do that. You it's got very the therapeutic to I mean, it. It is actually, it. I feel like you, well, I keep talking, you should try one. I kind of really, like really that. Yeah, um, <laughs> so then all you're going to do is you're going to um, layer it. But this seems like a normal skewer, yes, but wait till I get to the sauce. This is okay. what really brings this all together. Okay. So all you're going to do is take your skewer. I have um, a thin skewer for these. There's thicker skewers and thinner skewers. You only need a thin one for this. You don't need anything crazy. So take my um, cantaloupe, a little ball of mozzarella. You buy them just like this in the store. Some basil. Mm, yummy. And if you want, you can also put tomato on this, cherry tomatoes, Ooh. like, you know, Ooh. skewers with that. Yeah. Absolutely. You could put watermelon on this if you like watermelon. You don't like cantaloupe. You could do so many different things. Um, yeah, and then you just layer like so. You know, is it just Bust me or does all food taste better when it's on a skewer? It tastes better. It does. Mm -hmm. It does. Yes. It seems more fancy too, doesn't it? Really it does. It the food's like a celery. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you've, oh my gosh, I'm well, here I am layering you, and I forgot the prosciutto. Yeah, but I thought you were doing like a vegetarian. You could do a version mm -hmm. without the prosciutto well, because I know, you know, so a lot of people don't like to eat meat. That's the thing. You could do anything you want with these. And also what I actually think is really fun about these skewers is that if you're having a party and people do like some vegetarian, some right. people don't like great. basil or mozzarella. What you could do is actually have a big, like, um, oh, buffet of all these and different things and, do it. and let people make their own. I yeah, love that. It's, great, it's really a great fun. fun. But this one here is the sauce. The I was sauce just going to ask about that. This so, so good. good. Yeah. So what's in here? It's basil, mint, salt, lemon juice, and then pepper to taste. Wow. You've got you've got to try it. I'm like, going to try this right there. It's it the sauce that really brings it together, right? I, I hope, uh, forgive me if do I double it. dip Go here. Go right in because it's so, so good. Isn't that great? Love it's it. very summery too, mm -hmm. like the, the basil and mozzarella. Fresh, fresh mm -hmm. right? You want that on a hot fresh, summer yeah. day. You don't want to eat something hot and heavy. Like this is light, healthy, Ooh, refreshing. It's, so it's clean, Delicious. good quality oh. foods. Yes. Now, we're going to move on to this sort of the sweeter version of this. Sweeter, but we're still dealing with healthy fruit. So this is such a great idea. Absolutely. And the kids will be so excited right. about this. All right. So all you're going to do is you're going to take some watermelon and some um, pineapple. And you're mm -hmm. just going to cut slices of it. Don't worry about taking off the outside. Doesn't matter. Okay. So just... Yeah, Full on slice slices. it, slice it, slice it. Then you're gonna take some cookie cutters, some flour cookie cutters mm -hmm. of different sizes is fun. Um, and then you're gonna want a little um, circle cookie cutter like so. Oh. And then all you're gonna do is you take your first one over the pineapple. You wanna make sure this little circle in the, is in, in the middle of your pineapple is in the center of the flour. Okay. Push down. It really doesn't take that much. You would think pineapple, but really it's like pretty easy. And then you just pop it out. Like so. Just like that. You got your purple flower. Excuse there me for you reaching go. across yep. here. Oh, I know yeah. You're gonna work I'm getting the, started yes, here because I know you, you, I'm doing the little load up here before yep. we get to the fa uh, the fancy finale. You got to make the stem look all pretty too. So you're working on that. And then in the center of your flower, I, I probably could have centered that better actually, but you just use this little circle to punch out this. And the reason I'm doing that is because I wanted to, I just thought it'd be fun to have the flowers have, you know, different elements to them. So it's just not all one color. So I'm going to leave that to the side okay. for now. Then Great. take my watermelon. Don't do this one in the center because if you do it in the center, you're kind of wasting all around the outside. You can oh. actually get like three or four um, out of a slice of watermelon, depending on how big it is. So just go like this and cut little flowers are these the outside. Uh, are these shaped cookie cut? I mean, this is a silly question maybe for people that are used to this, but are they tough to find out there? Because they're so, I mean, they're 
No, Pretty they're sweet. really not. You can okay. get them anywhere, online, in big stores, in the grocery store they even yeah, sell them. Yeah, they're everywhere. And honestly, everywhere. cookie cutters, you should have every chance, well, guys. Molly sure. loves it when I take her toast in the morning and I make them different I cookie know. cutters. Oh, you know, I love that. Right? I do that Genius. for Alexandra's sandwiches at school oh, and okay. you would have thought that she won the lottery. <laughs> yeah, it, they love it. So now yeah. we go for everything. And even actually Riley just had his first birthday party over the weekend and I put out the cookie cutters for the kids to play with like Play-Doh. Oh, and they were like making sure. Uh, so there's a lot of uses for cookie cutters. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, like, good. These flower ones will come in good. I got to get out more uh, clearly <laughs> yes. start looking in the cookie cutter <laughs> aisle. Your, yes. your kids are a little yeah, older. Yeah, they were older. Excited as Riley, Molly, and Alexandra when it came to cookie cutter. So then what we're gonna do to not waste anything is I'm gonna put Aww. this circle in this you see guy. That? I love then, that. Oh, I don't know where so my cute. other circle went. It went somewhere. Oh, the other this guy? Needed? Yes, that guy. So then this guy's gonna go over in here. <laughs> and then what you're gonna do though, this is the trick for adding them to this skewer, is you wanna kind of put it at the edge. You don't wanna pick it up and try to do this because you could like mess up and poke yourself. Put it at the edge of a table, hold it down like this, and then push the skewer in. That's so a good tip. That, and then you're gonna take all the melon and oh, slide them up. up. Yep. Ooh, That's a good I tip. All right, I'm gonna try it. I messed up the watermelon piece. There but we we'll go. Okay. Off. Hold them up. Let's see. Oh, 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 look at that. Yes. And just as you know, um, to note, these are a little bit thicker than these small ones to hold up the fruit. And then last but not least, if you're doing this for kids' parties, after you stick it in, take it out real quick, cut off the top, and stick it back in so the kids don't have this sharp part in the That's end. a good tip. You want to supervise your kids when they're eating. Yeah, these are pretty hardcore. Go ahead, take yes. a bite. Thanks, Helen. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>